How's the weather oh. here? Hey, good. We're on Facebook Live, Vic D. Potato. Hey, you guys, watch it right here on the Facebook, my um, timeline, Maureen Langan, or on the uh, group Hanging with Langan. My guest right here, right now, I feel like I've met him twice in a row this week, Vic D. Potato. Hi, Maureen. Thank you for having me. It's an honor and a pleasure. I love having you here so much that I figured, let me screw up the tape or have the Zoom screw it up and have you back again. No problem. Uh, it's not like I got a busy schedule on this quarantine. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Well, you know what it is. Uh, Vic, I just want to let people know, Vic was kind enough to join me yesterday. I've known Vic for 20 years. He's a gem. But you know what? The Zoom, you guys know, because I was crying on Facebook and what the F is wrong with this? Somebody help me. And you guys are piling into my email account saying it's happened to everybody. I lost three interviews. So Vic is back with me. Woo! Um, all right, you. How are you spending your days now? What are you doing? Well, I just finished uh, putting up a new bird feeder. I, I like the pots around outside the house, weather permitting. That keeps me busy. Or I binge watch, right, right now me and Lucy were binge watching uh, Ozark, which is amazing. Is it good? Is it violent? Yeah, it's, it's pretty, uh, yeah. Violent. But it's, 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 you know, you're on the edge of your seat. It's like The Sopranos. It's like uh, Ray Donovan, which is my favorite till it, it got canceled. Oh, so it's violent like Ray Donovan? Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty intense. I can't do that. My bar is Blue Bloods and Law and Order. That's my bar. All day long, Lucy, all day long, all I hear is dun, 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 dun. That's all I hear. She watches Law and Order and uh, Criminal Minds, the reruns. All right, all right. And you guys, you should know, um, some of the stuff we're gonna talk about again, you and Lucy worked together on a bus uh, before you hit it big and started to tour and do uh, theaters all around the country. Tell people what you and Lucy did prior to Bread and Milk. And videos. Well, we, uh, I drove a school bus and we transported special ed kids. And when you have special ed kids, you need what they call a matron or an escort. Right. I know you, you like the word escort better than matron. Well, come on. What woman wouldn't? Yeah, because you need somebody to watch the kids. And, you know, unfortunately, you, you get attached to these kids. We had one kid. He was, he was like practically a paraplegic. And he, he died. And, you know, me and Lucy, we, would, we were upset for like a good week, you know. And it's a shame what some of these kids go through. But then you yeah. also got the, the future criminals of Staten Island that come well, from- Well, there you go. God gives, God you. takes. Yeah. And you, you see the system and how broken it is. Mm. You know, I, we're in the bad neighborhoods. You know, they live poor, but in the driveway is two Escalades. They have cell phones. I mean, come on, what, 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 something's not right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the special needs kids, I, I do a lot of stuff with them too, hosting things. And I had a, I knew a paraplegic. I used to work with the special needs Boy Scouts and he painted a painting for me with his toes. This was many oh. years ago and I couldn't accept it because I didn't feel at the time, it was so long ago, worthy of taking something he worked so hard on. And I always regret that. So I instead of finger it. painting, it was toe painting. Toe painting. He was dipping his toe into the paint. Wait, his tongue or his toe? Toe, toe, but toe oh, painting. Toe. Okay. Well, if he could do that, there's a lot of things he could do. But anyway. Yeah, well, bum, well bum. I'm deaf in one eye. <laughs> so Vic, all right. Uh, by the way, he brought up his wife, the matron slash escort, because that's what they call, they need somebody on the special needs bus as you're driving it. I just have to put it out there that his wife is spectacularly gorgeous and humble and down to earth and supports this guy. Um, she's not a little wallflower. She's strong, but she's strong in a, a very quiet, respectful, yes. amante and, way. And you, you know this business. If your spouse is behind you, that's half the battle. Oh, boy. I, well, you know, now I have that. I used to have, what are you doing this for? You're so smart. Why do you keep doing this? You know? I'm watching us on my fan page on the computer. Good. But we're, they, we're freezing. Oh, not, I'm not frozen. People are seeing us. It's your, it's your computer, Vic. I don't know why you're always having problems over there. Things run very smoothly for me over here. I it hate technology, I swear to God. What did I tell you yesterday? I want to get a one-eyed dog. I want to sit on a street corner by a tra traffic light. And all I want, the only technology I want to deal with is when the light turns red and I can go up to the window and get my money. That's all I want in life, Vic. Is that so much? The simple things, right? Yes. Hey, they saw us, Danielle saw us together in Tarrytown. 
That was a great show. I got to How open great is that theater. little theater? That's a family-run theater. Fantastic. I don't know when theaters are going to be back to normal. It, it's, it's scary, man, you know? Who the hell's going to go sit in a packed theater now? Well, once we get the vaccine, once that guy focaccia bread, focaccia and scarf lady, <laughs> once they get on it, that's why I was saying, like, Trump, get these people off your freaking stage, get them back in labs with their lab coats, with their little potions. Get them, what are they, I don't need to be hanging out with them all day. You know what I mean? You know, squad, lady. You know, Lucy makes focaccia. Of course she does. She's Italian. Oh, my God, it's delicious. That's <laughs> hilarious, focaccia. <laughs> that's how I can remember his name. <clears throat> they call him focaccia bread. Love the well, guy. That's the only guy I listen to. I don't listen to all the morons on the social media with their conspiracy theories. I know, I know. Um, so I'm with Vic DiPoteto, my friend. Oh, excuse me, Vic. It's time for a commercial break. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> I started doing this. I know. It's insane. I know. Um, listen, you guys. Maureen Langan here brings you great guests. Look at this. Monday through Friday, I bring you great guests, usually at 3 o'clock Eastern, but because the dot-com screwed up yesterday, Vic came back with me today. I'm so grateful. But if you want to support the show, PayPal, molangan at gmail.com. It's up there. Venmo at molangan. If you want to be a sponsor, feel free to, to personally, you know, private message me on Facebook. Bob, big shout out to Bitten by a Zebra. They're sponsoring today's show. Um, and you can go to my website and get, don't make me hate you. Don't make me, I don't want to hate people. They make me hate them. We're victims. All right, Vic, we got to get on to this. People know you. I don't know how many freaking followers you have from your videos. How many we got? Me and Russell, we couldn't figure it out. If you That's put all manager. the videos, if you put all my videos, I have doing it since 2009. I have over 8,000 videos. I don't know, hundreds of millions of views. Just bread and milk alone is 20 million just on YouTube. And, you know, there's different platforms. You have YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and you put that all together. I mean, right now, the uh, message to the government has 30 million views on Facebook. Just that one video. And you put them all together. Twitter, Instagram. Uh, uh, Your sister's the, ass. Google Plus. Your sister's ass. Google. You know, I love people that tell me, you know, there's no more Google Plus. I'm like, there's no more Pony Express either, you freaking moron. That's the joke. <laughs> people, Could you imagine don't... if George Collin was on Facebook today? He'd go out of his mind. Oh, my God. Hey, I'm by offended the... by the 730 words. I, why, why must you curse? Who does say, go fuck yourself? I would have told him. You got to see Vix. You, of course, you go to his page. He has 80 skillion, but he has that ranting about the government. I also posted it on my Facebook page because it's hysterical. I also posted the one where he pretends to be the president. The whole thing's hysterical. Um, when I want to get back to some of these videos, but when um, the technology screwed up yesterday and I had to reach out to your manager, I said, look, are you ready for this, Vic? I go, I got 6,000 followers. <laughs> they need him. My 6,000 followers, you don't understand. They want dick. <laughs> hey, 6,000, then they share and they post. That, you know, 6,000 turns into 12,000. You got to start somewhere. Exactly. And you know what? Well, start in 20 years. But you know what, you guys? If you're liking watching dick, share it. Do a watch party. Share all this, you know? Um, okay. I know you get asked this a million times, and I ask it. The bread and milk, that was the pivotal change when you did the bread and milk video in your career. Bread and milk was the one that went viral. People, a lot of people think that started my career. Yeah, it was fun. It was nice. It's, it goes up. The thing with bread and milk, it comes back every winter. It's up to 20 million views. Bread and milk is like Christmas carols. It's, it, it, it's the only viral video that's never going to go away. And that was 26 seconds. And a lot of people, they saw that. They had no idea who I was, that I was a comedian. And, and I'm now with this one, with the mess message to the government, I got a whole new audience now. People are still finding out about me. They have no clue that I'm a comic. They don't know that I've been doing stand-up for 35 years. They just think I'm this angry Italian guy who spits and screams all over his dashboard. And it's amazing, man. But the social media, without the social media, I wouldn't have the following that I have. Isn't that something, though? Of course, you've been in the business, what, 30 years? 30? 35. 35 years. And um, I want people, I opened for Vic a number of times. He would always bring an up-and-coming comic with him, and don't worry. And I remember I did the VFW in Staten Island, and they're there to see Vic, and 
they weren't digging me. Whereas like at Terrytown, they were digging me because there was right. a wider range. The Staten Island crowd, for that, this particular crowd wasn't digging me. And you, you get like, ah, oh, I felt like I let you down. And you're like, what the hell's wrong with you? Like, Let's go have a glass of wine. Cut the bullshit, you're fine. And I always appreciated that about you. Thank you, Maureen. I mean, you crushed it in Tarrytown. That was a great gig, man. You know, my fans are very loyal. I have yeah. great fans. You yeah. know, when uh, Eric Tartaglioni and Tom Daddario, when they opened for me, they say these shows are the best. Your fans are the best. But I don't know when these, these shows are going to happen again, man. Oh, that's I don't know. Um, well, you know, we'll, we'll see. Something's going to I told you Focaccia Bread's got to get off the stage. He's got to get his potions together. And he has to come up with something hocus pocus that we can all take. Scarf Lady, she looks important. She's got to get in there. You know, these people got to get, get to it. We, we got to listen to them. That's what we really yes, have to Yes, that's to. the only one I listen to. If only you know one. what I mean. Yeah. Yep, and you're gonna, yeah, do I know what you mean? Um, but Vic, you, you just did, um, you have to see his rant on, on Follow Him on his page where he does rant about the money and the, well, give us a little taste of what you rant about. I don't have to tell you. Well, um, the $1,200, for instance, what is that gonna do for the average family with medical payments, credit cards, car payments? Uh, that $1,200 won't even get you a roll of toilet paper now. The money is going to the wrong people. They're giving it to the banks and the corporations. They, you know, then the banks, they take out a fee just to distribute it. Why don't they give it to people who need a job to distribute it? Ruth Chris was shamed into giving it back yeah. the money. Embarrassing. The Los Angeles Lake is, it's, it's, it's another, it's crazy, man. I know. And yet the, sad, the, the, the sad thing is it's happening over and over. Mm -hmm. Rinse, lather, repeat. Nothing changes. It's the same old, same old. The system is broken. People are still can't get to unemployment. People have been with no income for a month now. And people who should be getting it, like the, the, the medical workers are on the front line, they're the ones that should get it. And then there's people who don't deserve it and they're getting it. The whole system is, is just upside down. It is. It is. And you know what, Vic? You, you brought this up on your rant. Um, he rants on this. It isn't like calm like this. But these people, I hope to God, they start to understand the importance of everyday Americans, performers, hardworking people having health care. You get destroyed. You lose everything. You lose your home. You lose your business. If some douchebag who wants to buy a second home in the hills of Kentucky decides your liver's fine. You know, this is wrong. Why they have everything they, everything they need, Vic. Everything. Well, my idol, George Collins, said it best. It, it's Washington is one big club and we're not in it. We're not in it. By the way, I know Kelly um, Carlin likes you a lot. And she'll be joining me on the show on the 21st of May. We just locked that in this morning. Please tell her I said thank you because she shared that video and she actually wrote, I wish my father was here to see this fucking guy. Just, that was a quote. I'm, man, that was That's surreal. Something. That That's was something. surreal. And I told you I interviewed him twice and he is a gentleman, really connected, uh, really gives a crap about what other people are saying. Um, what I want you, ever see his, you ever see his bit about germs? He was so ahead of his time. Brilliant, man. I miss him. I miss him. Uh, but Vic, a couple things I wanted to talk to you about before I let you go today. People are, are digging this. Thank you for what. Yeah, John. Very cool. Garrick, appreciate it. They're all loving you, Vic. Of course they are. Um, How come I, I'm not seeing this? I don't, well, I don't know, Vic. You can't, you've got to be like me. I'm like a coder. I practically live in Silicon Valley with my abilities. <laughs> um, are you kidding me? I'm freaking kidding me. I was ready to get an Etch-a-Sketch. I'm like, just give me an Etch-a-Sketch. I can't take this anymore. Um, off stage, you're like this, a gentleman, calm, on stage, boxing ring, slug it out, get out of my way. I have watched people come up to after, after shows. It's, he's a rock star. We're in Morristown where I grew up. Yeah. People are climbing, climbing, climbing over, over each other. People had people on their shoulders uh, to get to you. It was, it was, and I'm like, that's the first time I saw it, you know, like that. And I'm like, man, look at him. Look at him. Freaking it's, awesome. And I miss that. I miss the crowds, yeah. man. I mean, I'm going to be doing some virtual comedy on Zoom. I mean, you know, what's, what's that expression? Um, it sucks. Necessity is it's the life. mother of invention. <laughs> no, I know. Not a senior life. moment there. No, I know. I'm just saying this whole thing. How uh, old are you, Maureen? How old are you? Can't I just... Can't I just you can't tell I me? Can't, I can tell you. All right. How much do you weigh? 
Oh, I'm 98 pounds, I'm falling <laughs> apart. I'm just like, it doesn't matter. I look as old as this. This is how old I look. And I do a little nod back to um, Rhoda. A couple more things I got to tell you. I know you got to go back and dust something or go plant a <laughs> tomato. Like, I know there's something going on for you. Lucy's um, cooking. I can smell it. I'm starving. Hi, Lucy. I love that I'm with a Sicilian. I get good food. She probably heard you because my wife could hear a mouse piss on a cotton ball in Wisconsin. <laughs> my wife has Wonder Woman hearing. I love your wife. Um, off the stage, nice guy. It, what's on the stage isn't an act. It's just a part of you. But when you come off stage, and I've been with you in San Francisco, uh, where we went to a great Italian meal, oh. which I told your manager, I'm going to take him, his dogs, the neighborhood, you, Lucy, anybody, babies, anybody to get like whatever they want. Because uh, because this technology screwed up yesterday. Um, but I watch people come up to you and I know they think because they see you on stage, they go, yo, Vic, what's up, Vic? You know, and you can't stand that. I hate that. There's a time to shut it off, you know? Mm -hmm. It's, even comics, you work with some of these comics, they got to be funny 24 seven. Mm. Dude, we get it. You know, we know you're funny. Let's, let's chill out, have a drink, relax. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm, yeah. Yeah. it's I'm, like you said, cause when I'm on stage, you know what it's like. Once you hit that stage, you're a maniac too. You know, once you hit that stage, yeah. the switch just clicks on. It's just yeah. something about being on stage and in front of a camera. That's why when I do the, the rants, once the camera goes on, it, it's, you know, it's half acting and it's half, being yourself, you know? Yep. So how would you prefer if somebody came up to you after stage? What, what would you like them to say or do? Just approach me nicely. I'm very approachable. Don't be bossy. Don't be overbearing. I hate that. Be overbearing. Don't fucking, don't fucking kiss me either. Even before this pandemic. <laughs> no, even before this whole coronavirus. Don't fucking kiss me. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know where you've been, you know? I never thought I'd turn into a Howie Mandel, but I don't know yeah. what, when and if this ever goes, what normal is going to be. I don't know if I'm going to be doing meet and greets anymore. You know, it's crazy out there. We don't know. We don't know. Hey, my brother's an engineer. I have a sister-in-law who's a nurse, a brother who works in a hospital in Queens. My other brother's an engineer in New Jersey. So they have them putting up the parking lots, turning them to like two-year temporary tent cities. He's like, looks like he's an astronaut. They have him in yeah. a full class. I go, John, what are you doing? He goes, oh, well, this is what they got. What do you want to do? Um, so yeah, God forbid, forbid the, the God forbid the government sends them the proper equipment. Uh, what yeah. a disgrace! The whole thing is a disgrace. Well, you know that I wanted to say this about you though before I let you run. Is the thing is yes, you're this guy on stage, you're this nice guy off stage. There tends to be a stereotype. I mean, you live in Jersey. I go up there, the Staten Island. There tends to be this. Hey, yo, what's what are you doing? As if we're stupid freaking people. Right. You are a smart, bright man, and you are so evolved and open-hearted and minded. You are, you're not like what people would stereotypically put on, you know, that region of our country, which pisses me off too. Um, I love, and I asked you to do this before, I would love, and I do love how you talk about your son, Michael, on stage. That shows- Well, I say, um, you know, my son came out uh, five years ago, and when he came out, I saw how relieved he was. I'm like, Mike, are you happy? That's all that matters. Come here, buddy. Give me a kiss. I started tearing up. He started tearing up. And I tell, I tell parents, if you think your kid is gay, would you rather him come out of the closet or hang himself in the closet? And that really wakes them. I hate to be so blunt, but that really, you know, I have gay kids. They come up to me after my shows. Yeah. We want to thank you yeah. for speaking about, I have gay parents of gay parents, of gay kids telling me, want to thank you. You know, here I am, like you said, this big Italian guy screaming and yet I have a gay son who I, Take him with open arms, you know? Mm -hmm. Love is love. Like, who's that guy? Love is love. It, it, they're people, man. It's none of your business with their sexual preferences. That's Anybody right. ever heard of my son? I swear to God, I'd go to jail for him. That's my well, one. That's what I, I sleep at night knowing he's in Scotland. And I, I picture, you know, what if him and his partner, they go into a bar and somebody, I fucking, I, mm, man, don't fuck with my son, man. Yeah. Well, the first time I saw you talk about that was in Tarrytown when we worked together and I was watching you in the wings. And I'm like, whoa, this yeah. is powerful. And you have the power to do that, Vic. You're an evolved man. You're a smart man. You couldn't do these rants that you do if you weren't informed, if you weren't an intelligent man. But to watch your heart and to watch it towards your son, I went, I can't love him more. <laughs> so I, I did a video on that. You should have seen a response. You know, naturally, you get your assholes, your, your backward yeah. fucking morons. <laughs> oh, your son's a fag and all that. Oh. Just, 
Block, delete. That's all. You can't Block argue it. with stupid. You can't yeah. argue. That's the problem with this country. There are too many stupid people out there, man. It's really sad. That is sad. Hey, you, tell people where they can follow your videos and uh, how, when you're doing your Zoom comedy or whatever you got to, to share. The best thing I could tell people, go to my website, vicdbotetto.net, or go to YouTube. Once you, all you got to do is type in Vic D, it automatically fills out. And all my links are there, my Facebook page, my YouTube page. It's all there. My whole history is there. Because it's hard for me to answer you individually. I go all the time, Vic, let me know when you're going to be at the Borgata. Right, I can't right. let you know. You know how many fans I have? I you do. have to come to my side. I can't let you know personally. No, you you know, they think, they think they're the only ones messaging me. And, it, I just, and I know they mean well. Of course. Of tell course. them, help me to help you. Right. I, exactly. Exactly. Uh, before you leave, can I just do one more commercial? Sure, go ahead. I wouldn't leave unless I heard that bell again. Same. Hey, you guys, if you want to support shows like this, bring them to you every day, Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern. Vic was kind enough to hang out with me again today after the Zoom piece of crap collapse or whatever the hell it does. Uh, support at PayPal, molangan at gmail.com, Venmo at molangan. Don't make me hate you t-shirts available on uh, MaureenLangan.com. Hey, you know what? I can't thank you. I can't thank Russell enough. Thank you for doing this for me again, Vic. Thank you for being you. I love you, and you, you're doing a great job here. You're good at what you do. You're good, you. You're good. good. I can't wait for us to be together again working in packed theaters. That's what Someday I want. Someday we'll, we'll be, be together. together. <laughs> It'll happen. It'll happen. All right, sweetheart. Mwah to you and Lucy, honey. Bye-bye. Bye, Maureen.